Well, Washington State Sleep and Performance Research Center here in Spokane has two labs together. We have a sleep research laboratory where we bring people to do experiments on the effect of sleep deprivation or different schedules of work. So just like people work different hours in the real world, we study them in, under those sorts of conditions. This new laboratory here is the simulation laboratory, and it's right next to the sleep lab. It's in the, the same identical environment. And so for the first time anywhere in the world, what we're going to be doing here is testing the impact of different work schedules or sleep deprivation on people's performance in very realistic settings. So how does it affect their driving? How does it affect their decision making? How does it affect their ability to communicate with people or some of the, the initial things we'll study? There are other laboratory-based simulators out there, most of them that aren't as realistic in terms of how they feel as this one is with the wraparound screens. And they're terribly expensive. These are expensive, but those are, are much more expensive. And they don't give this feeling of familiarity that we're looking for in the kind of research we're doing. We can change whether it's day or night, uh, how good's the visibility, how much precipitation are you getting, how slippery are the roads. I'll drive these 25 uh, minute sessions and it's a very boring stretch of roadway, uh, very, f for the most part, straight um, driving. And uh, there are a number of bushes along the side of the road on either side and the uh, participant drives like they normally would and from random bushes, uh, a pedestrian or a dog will walk out from behind the bush across the roadway. Um, what we will look at later on is uh, whether or not a sleepy driver um, has more close calls or if they have uh, uh, impaired reaction time or, or impaired decision making. Actually, we haven't done similar research about law enforcement at all. It's one of the occupational groups that people have mostly ignored with regard to sleep, shift work, uh, and a number of other health issues. Uh, cops in the United States routinely work 24 hours straight, even though that makes you as impaired as if you were legally drunk. Uh, there are cops who work as many as 3,000 hours of overtime a year, year in and year out. We don't control their work hours at all, and we don't really know how we should control them because none of this research has been done with people who do such a very different occupation. The emphasis with this kind of simulator is on how people make judgments and how they make decisions in very fast-paced, deadly force situations. So in a confrontation with someone, does the officer do the right thing? Uh, what contributes to them being able to do the right thing in a very difficult, fast-paced situation. It has a, a hopper full of 20 millimeter nylon balls, and um, there's a, a compressed air, and there's a there's a cannon in there, and the operator of the uh, 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 can control where the uh, cannon. Uh, is aiming and there's a little laser designator that you can see exactly where the where you're aiming and uh, it'll shoot out at uh, what is it 100 100 feet per second, feet per second. Um, you know I've been showing you the truck driving mm -hmm. stuff well a truck driver or a pilot or a train driver or a, you know the, a driver does essentially the same thing cops are in and out of their vehicles they're talking to people they're doing things that are arousing and you know, fear-provoking uh, during the course of a routine night. So we don't really know what that means.